Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live and in effect. It is a Friday night, and I come to you from behind my plastic microphonic device to give you some a little bit of commentary, responding to some of your comments on my videos, and have a little bit of fun. That's what this is about. So we appreciate everyone being here on this fine evening. Hope everybody is doing well and had a great week. Yes, indeed. A work week. A For some people, though, they work on the weekends as well. So, but just thank you for being here. Here we are. We've got the uh, AG47 Surfer is here. The Raza Manaza is present and accounted for. Grow Mechanic. Jeffrey Jackson is new. He's here. Welcome. Gaz Grill, Bill 457. MS Road 99 says, Hola. Good to see all of you guys. Welcome indeed. Mutant Rife is here. So, thank you guys for joining in on the fun, fun, fun as we, uh, or I'll wait to be here in the sun, sun, sun here. We're going to try to get to these comments, um, get to the bottom of them. A lot to catch up with here, but we'll get there. Uh, fraud and Chief Biden. I love that name. I agree completely with it. He is a fraud. I'm not ready to dump my silver. Uh, if it drops below $20 an ounce, I just buy more to average my cost per ounce. There you go. Dollar cost averaging. He's doing it in the smart way. Well done. Very good. I'm not ready to dump mine either, even if it goes down that price. And I didn't do that last time either. I sold on mine for $12 yesterday, as Dale says. Hello, Celtic Knot. Good to see you. Sushi night with Sally. There you go. Sushi night indeed. Eat that raw fish. Just shovel it in there. Just gobble up that raw fish. All right. Mutant Rife ordered uh, two half-ounce gold eagles. Nice. Hmm. Good to see Donald in New Mexico. And Jamie Fox is here, and so is the lovely gold chick Vibafell. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you all. Um, power linkers, I'm thinking more like between twenty to twenty-two dollars an ounce before the Fed kicks in. All right, yes, indeed, we shall see um, what happens. No matter what, the premiums you won't see that price on the street though, even if it does go to twelve dollars. But and the world, since we saw it happen before, I was kind of surprised. Uh, but we'll see there. Hello. Good day. Brutal day with stocks and metals indeed, says Fabian T. You're right. It's a pretty, pretty crazy day, but good to see Fabian. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Good to see Fabian T. Wood Stud 66 says, banks manipulate the market. Yes, indeed. I know a lot of people believe that. Uh, it says cash is trash. I disagree um, with that, though. For now, I mean, we all use cash. For our transactions, but yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. But thank you, Woodstuck. John Doe says, I'm not buying until these premiums go down. But $12 would be a massive buying opportunity. Honestly, anything below $20 will be if the premiums are reasonable. Well, that's just it. Let's say it goes to $12 and you're paying $22 an ounce for silver. Would you still buy? I think I would. I think that would still be considered a good deal. Very good. Hello, silver scientists. Good to see you. And Spectacular is here, says or Salt and Preppers. Good to see Spectacular. All right. All right, thank you. Gas Grill is going to give me a thumbs up before he falls asleep. I hope I can uh, keep you uh, entertained just enough to keep you barely awake. All right, very good. Uh, that's right, Grow Mechanic. There is the case. That's exactly right. Cash is trash for savings. Although I'm not against having some of it on the side. You know what I'm saying? A little cash on the side for emergencies. But yes, you're right. Very true. It's, it's trash for savings. That's the correction there. That's right, Grow Mechanic. And Judge Stacker. If spot hits $12 and I can buy silver and save $14, $15 an ounce, I'm going to break all my rules and get loans to buy silver. Uh, shorting the dollar. Don't do what I do. I just like shining rocks. Okay. All right. Yes, I, I'd be very careful about going into debt or getting loans for that. But hey. We all have our limits and stuff like that. There you go. I love cash. I love spending cash on bullion, says Silver Scientist. I'm with you there, brother. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Stack, uh, stacktacular. Super stackalicious. That's right, Celtic Knot. All right. And uh, Wesley Q. Ruaz. I hope silver drops of $5. I will go ham. All right. Ham on it, brother. Ham on it. Yes, indeed. Well, and I got some a little bit of uh, flack about this video. I'm not saying that the price you pay is going to be $12 per ounce or even based off of any normal premium. But because of what we saw last year, 
I believe that the panic that we saw last year, if it happens again, it'll be worse. And uh, there could be a, a moment in time where we do see that $12 silver. Um, but some people, I don't think, watch the video uh, long enough to uh, get that from it. But 12 for spot with an $18 premium. That's right, B.R. Williams. That's exactly right. There's where the, it's going to be. That premium is going to be uh, involved there. All right. Victorious Libertas VLTV. I can only dream of $12 silver. Question is, what would the real price what would be the real price to own it? That's right, exactly. My guess is we'd see premiums rise again, even though they're starting to kind of wane a bit here. Uh, yes, indeed. Blue is here. If you could only get one same price, would you take a 2021 ounce gold Britannia or a 2021 ounce gold Buffalo? Oh man, I think at this point I'd probably take the Buffalo. Um, just because I'm in the U.S., it is a lovely coin. I love the Britannia, though. That's a tough choice, but I probably would go with the Buffalo. Uh, boy, that would be a tough one. I'd, I would really like that Britannia. That would be a tough decision. I have to think about that, but probably. All right, very good. Hey, uh, Bobcat Bren, good to see you. Not often I catch you on the live. Stashing some Canadian dollars now. Waiting for the flush. There you go. All right, thank you, brother. Bobcat, I appreciate you, sir. And Love Button is here. She knows how to push my buttons. There's the love button. She or he or some combination of both. I'm not sure. Bought a bamboo silver slide. Nice silver scientist. I don't need to get one of those. Is it heavy? I heard it was really heavy. Gary Hughes, should I buy silver now or do you think spot price will drop more? I don't know. Um, I do have a crystal ball. I'm not going to say I don't have one of those. But I can't predict the future. Um... So buy at your own risk um, or of what you think. I think there certainly is a chance it could go down. It's trending down right now. Um, and I think that for a while we could see it. I, I am still am bullish for it by the end of the year, though. Uh, but I think, it, I think it has room to go down a little bit more. But anyways, yes, indeed. Brian Peterson says paper spot price won't affect physical price. They'll just up the premiums because the demand is going up. That's right. Exactly right. Yeah, Spectacular. You guys should definitely check out Spectacular. He uh, brings us the coin guy who has been really popular. He's really knowledgeable, knows his stuff, and uh, Spectacular does a great job of interviewing him and uh, interacting with him. And that's, uh, yes, indeed, good stuff on Speg's channel. All right. Uh, APM Ma um, Master PC says... Gold got garbage. Uh, okay, I'm not sure exactly what that comment means, but I'll pretend it's got three G's in it. It does, because uh, so I don't have to pretend about that. Gringo, $12 spot. Silver American Eagle will carry a $12 premium. Yes, I would say that would be a safe bet to say at this point for sure. Good to see Donald in New Mexico and CCT. Where is he? There's CCT. Hello, members, one and all. And over here is here. And so is the awesome Mark B. Good to see you, Mark B. I watched those videos you sent me. Pretty wild. Good guitar player and bass player. Guitar players and bass player. Native Stacker is here. The Native. All right. The Native is restless. Indeed. All right. Uh, Bert Ouija says, if silver hits $12, I'll empty all my accounts. Savings accounts and children's savings accounts and buy physical silver. Wow. I'd even contemplate loaning for it. But realistically speaking, there are only two scenarios where that's possible. Someone finds a mine and yield extremely far above normal and can basically double the world's supply of silver. Two, the USA becomes an economic powerhouse again, outproduces every other country at a lower price and reconnects a dollar, become as good once again. Um, so uh, he doesn't think that it would ever hit because of my scenario that I talk about there. That I think if there's a worse kind of a little mini panic where people run to the safety of cash, um, like we saw with uh, the coronavirus last year. All right. Very good. Hello, Jeff Keller. Thank you so much, Jeff. Appreciate it. All right. Welcome. Glad you're here. Yes, Terry is MIA. And El Porcano is here. Hello, El Porcano. Good to see you, sir. Platinum B says, I remember like it was yesterday, I robbed my LCS last month of $50 in junk at $10 face value. Nice job, Platinum Beast. Very good job. Nice. 
All right, Silversmith just got all fired up listening to Molly Hatchet, Sweet Home Pennsylvania. Nice. All right. Oh, let's see here. All right, Electro Pig says, fingers crossed I want to get another 10-ounce maple leaf this year. They're all coming out anyway. Still haven't seen any. Yes. All right. Yes, 10-ounce maple leaf. I'd like to get uh, one of those as well, too, this 10-ounce maples. I don't have one of those. That'd be pretty cool to have. All right, uh, Power Linker says, I should give you a treat if $12 ounce silver becomes a reality. Yes, I'll take treats. I'm like a little puppy dog with treats. Squirt9 is here. Good to see you. Darth Larper is here. Welcome. Greetings, Uncle Sal. Greetings to you, Mark B., my four-stringed bass friend. Good to see you. Making me thirsty for Grow Mechanic. Yes, indeed. Mm. Ah, good stuff. Good coffee. All right. Aaron says, silver can't go down. We all just buy more. Silverbacks are going to pull more. Uh, and more off the market. Well, we'll see if the silver backs can keep those spines strong through the buying frenzy. We shall see. Can they keep it up? We'll find out. John Bethia says, if silver goes down to 12, where will we find silver to buy? You can hardly find it now. I would like to have thousands of coins at that this price. We should only sell silver and gold to another holder. You know, that is one thing to think about is, uh, that is probably going to be the best way uh, if you want to you trade it among peer, peer to peer. It's a little riskier, but uh, if you don't involve the bullion dealers and uh, and when that's oh, we'll finish the bar. Okay, cool. I'll check it out sometime. I'm going to probably won't have time tonight, but uh, remind me, I'll definitely check it out. But he did a good job in that bar. I bet it shined up really nice, Native. Very cool. Silver Squeeze One is here. Hello, Silver Squeeze One. I think you're new here. Welcome indeed. Are you a part of the Reddit forum, Wall Street Silver? Good to see you. Brian is here. I'm on the cell. My, my tab crashed. Got to get a new one. Wish me luck. Ooh, man. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Good to see you. Silver Drill Pickle is here. He made it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Okay. Now, Daniel DeHorty says, Silver is a complete waste of time. Been hearing the sky is falling for far too long. I sold a monster box and 16 times my cash in cryptos. Should have listened to the first time years ago I'd be a millionaire. Well, you know, um, silver is something you hold for the long term. And if you would have bought silver in the mid-2000s to now, you'd be way ahead. But um, you would also really be essentially not really ahead, but you would have um, um, hedged yourself, preserved your wealth. And that's really what it's about really what it's about you know what i'm saying okay let's see here all right yes i like mercury dimes it's a great buy gary hughes yes indeed mercury dimes are very good david gonzalez i bet today atmex will stop selling before the market closes today <laughs> well they didn't they kept on selling for sure and they will continue to do that by the way, Silver Surfer is here. Hello, Silver Surfer. Good to see you, sir. Dan Wilson says, I don't see $12 an ounce. If you could find any at that price, it would be like hitting the lottery. Premiums right now for a small order of 100 ounces is around $5 per thanks to video. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to make this video, but when I saw the price take a pretty big hit from, you know, when we saw it, you know, above $28 very recently, and now it's, you know, around $25. You know, um, uh, given what's going on, and um, I could very easily see another little panic thing happening. But, you know, who knows? But um, it's, it's unlikely, but I think that if we do see another panic, it could happen before it goes back up again. Because uh, keep in mind, when it went down before, it went down uh, and then it doubled. It more than doubled. Very quickly it doubled. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. CCT, have you seen the latest video from Silver Scientist to hook him up with a uh, first carbonized bamboo slide in a coin stand like yours? Uh, no, I've not seen that. I will check it out. I probably won't get to tonight, but I will definitely check that out. Congratulations. He did mention he did get a coin slide, and I wondered how heavy the thing was. Hmm. Good to see Ozzy Alchemist. Welcome to you, sir. All right. Good to see all you guys. Where's Sal's gals? Yeah, well, we've got uh, Gold Chick Vibefell is here. 
Uh, we need Lucy Stacks. We need um, uh, all the others. I think everybody else we need. So Ross says, this guy's a clown. So it will only be $12 an ounce and the dollar regains value, which, given the current circumstances, is very unlikely. Uh, well, I don't think you watched the video. Because you're not, you're not, uh, the demand for silver right now is higher than it's been in history. These prices are a smoke show. It can only remain cloudy for so long from the times of ancient Egypt, blah, blah, blah. He didn't watch the video. Because he doesn't address anything I said in the video. Not a single thing that I said in the video. This is another one of those examples where people just see the title and they click on the video and then they come in and make a silly comment like this. Crazy. Frank Pizzo, $1,200 gold. Yeah, hey, that could be. We'll see here. Coins A to Z is here. Hello, good to see you. All right, very good. Jason Jones, hello from St. Petersburg, Florida. Nice and warm down there. Welcome. And Sterling Cannabis is here too. Hello, Sterling Cannabis. Check out Sterling Cannabis' channel. He's got his own poured silver rounds, and those things look sweet. Man, nice stuff. I think he's doing an auction for them. So check out the Sterling Cannabis channel when you get a chance. Well, it's not when you get a chance, make a chance, make it happen. Check out Sterling Cannabis. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, dick blown off. <laughs> Wait. I thought it was going to go to 50, 100, 200,000 an ounce. Y'all so wrong so often. Nobody has any accountability. Been buying since 2003, and it goes absolutely nowhere. Well, um, if you've been buying since 2003, then you know that it has gone. Plenty of places in between that time and now. Um, and what does it do? What is the purpose of silver? Um, it is to preserve your wealth in the long run. Very good. All right. How's an ounce bar slider? There you go. 143 Druid. And uh, Brian Pedersen says, It's all an illusion to make our crashing fake fiat dollar look strong. Gold and silver will shine and go to the moon very soon. All right. And you shall see. We'll find out and see. Well, and the thing is, is if it does drop like this to $12, you know what's going to happen, just like what happened before. It's going to rise right back up pretty fast. All right, photo shoot location for calendar. I know I need to organize that again there. We need if we can get one or two more chicks for the calendar, then we can start really planning. Heard a source secret service that Biden's mental health is really bad and that he might not be able to make six months. It wouldn't surprise me. They cut off a... Uh, some questioning from a democratic forum. That's crazy. All right, very good. All right, let's see here. Moving up. Jesse Patrick says, your videos are awesome, Sal. Keep it up, my friend. Well, thank you, Jesse. Very kind of you, sir. I appreciate that very, very much. Repeat day, 74. What's up, Sal? I rate it a 12. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that rating. Nice, nice. Cold Shoe Media says, what if everyone counting on inflation is wrong? Silver would drop in deflation type correction crash. History rhymes. The 1920s, we had an epic inflation, but in the 30s, the deflationary crash. I wonder um, what that would look like in the market. The only thing I could say is pay off your debts. Here we go. Yeah, it is wise to, to pay down your debts, indeed, for sure. For, yes, indeed. All right. Young Turks said that silver was a waste of time. I don't believe anything that Young Turks would tell us. But yes, doesn't surprise me that they would say that, say that for sure. Good to see Mr. Vegeta is here. Good to see you. Jay and Blaine has a silver pick Fender Loco, a little over $100. And that is the one ounce variety. I didn't see that. The Young Turds. That's right, Spall Walker. More like the Young Turds. M. Borman says, We'll tank with the Dow as shorts are covered, but then it goes up big time. That's right. I think that's right. There you go. And Norman, that's what I think would happen too. Uh, Phil Coolis, just before the tsunami comes, the water recedes. There you go, indeed. All right. And we have Lucy Stacks. I like the video style. Very thought provoking. I didn't see the $12 silver last year. I came in shortly after. It's good to have people like you that have been doing this so long. You tell us these stories. I appreciate it. And thank you for your insights. Okay, got it. So if silver drops to $12, basically don't freak out because it's going to go right back up with a vengeance. That's right. You got it. You listen. You watch the video. Lucy Stacks is awesome. Uh, and I know I'm not a financial advisor, but I do value your insight. I'm not a financial advisor, but I do have a crystal ball. So I need to, there is, I do have that going for me. All right. All right. Very, very good. All right. 
Australian lady goes to anaphylactic shock from the beer flu vaccine in the middle of the hospital made full recovery. That has been known to happen uh, with most vaccines I've heard anyways. But anyways, all right. Ah, very good. Welcome, everybody. Glad to see you guys here. A good crowd here. In Borman, real price, right at $40 on eBay. Yes, indeed. Yep, I mean, it's crazy. The separation from the physical to spot price, it is up everywhere. All right, everywhere. All right. Jonah Jones, 12 silver. I will buy that. There you go, Jonah. He'll do it. I'll buy that for $12. Where, where at? Uh, let's see here. All right. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Will Mob, 420. Mr. Smith and Mr. Weston, along with Mr. Kalashnikov and Mr. Henry Gar, my dragon sword. I've got one of those Mr. Kalashnikovs as well. And uh, indeed, I also have some phone numbers to call some scammers we're going to try here momentarily. Just for gets and shiggles, we're going to do it. We're going to call some scammers. Oh, those crystal balls hurt, my brother. They do hurt if you hit them the right way. Coins and disease. Do you own a wood metal cabinet, a.k.a. coin cabinet? There's some awesome ones I've been, I've been offered for sale. No, I don't have one of those. Um, uh, I would, uh, I don't know. Can you send me a link to some of those? That'd be pretty cool to see what you're talking about there. All right, let's see here. Don't want to hear someone calling you a clown. That would diminish the clown status. That's right. All right. Silver Surfer's got silver balls. That's right. Julio Julio Leon says, Here in Mexico, if the price reached 770 pesos per troy ounce, that's about $40 per troy ounce just a couple of weeks ago in Mexico. Thank you, Julio. Leon, thank you, my friend. Uh, Zay Cream 21, if it goes down, we would have to wait for all the new naive people buying it up at enormous premiums because a dealer uh, don't want to bring price down and lose too much. Then once all the new guys buy enough, they will be able to start buying more product at the new or lower spark price. Until then, the premiums might get disgusting if silver drops to $12. Yes, indeed. All right. All right, let's see here. BW says, the movement is up at the moment, but I would be a big buyer at that price right now of buying seeds for the farm because they are going up because me and the grocery stores like to eat. That's right, BW. Very, very good, sir. Uh, Ivan XYZ, I may not be a gold and a bug, but I have to say this is a good video. Keep up the good work. All right, thank you, my friend. Thank you, Ivan. Appreciate that, sir. All right. Minted AUAG, good to see you. Love to hear your relaxing voice discussing precious metals. Well, thank you. We like to slurp a little bit, too, for your honor. That's how we do it. Indeed. Colorado Kid is here. Good to see Colorado Kid. And we've got more comments here. All right. Silver Wolverine at $12. I will be backing up the truck on the paper. All right. There you go, brother. Okay. And Chepitan Master Videos. Chepitan Master Videos. Actually, silver is going down to $0 like Goyle did last year. You need to buy silver now. So all sellers say buy more because it will soon skyrocket. It could go to 4000 Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times have I heard this? Been waiting for decades. It will not. Sorry to say this again, but silver will always disappoint it may reach $30 by year end if they allow it. That's it. All right. Uh, we'll see. It's a, it's a matter of being patient. You know, the thing is, is we can have different opinions on where on what why this price of silver is down, but we all feel that in the end, it's going to preserve our wealth in some way or another. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, Blue Lincoln says, hope you're wrong for change, but what will the premiums be? High. You can bet your top dollar they will be high. Jonathan Four says, yeah, until the premiums are 20 bucks an ounce. That's right. And that could be where it goes. You never can know. Where is Terry? Where is Barbara? Yeah, we're missing. We're missing. Uh, is Love Button confirmed to be Sal's gal calendar? We have to confirm the Love Button sex first before we can allow... Uh, that entity to be a part of the calendar. But uh, I have a feeling that um, uh, he is not going to, uh, is not going to be on the, uh, he is a male because he's not 
said not even said he wasn't going to be on the calendar. So the only way we can prove the sex of Love Button is if he sends me an email with some pictures confirming that uh, he is a chick. And I have ways to be able to prove, uh, to be able to verify the sex of, um, and, and of, of Love Button. I do have ways to do it. All right. My kitten is a black belt. With silver price dropping, certain coin dealers are still asking way too high for a premium for coins and bars that they probably got cheap. Yes, well, I think that cheap silver is gone now. They've probably gone through that stuff already. Uh, yeah, Barbara C. isn't rocking today. Where is Barbara C.? We do have Dissident Aggressor. We've got Colonic Stacker. We've got Cyber Curtain Twitcher. We got Gold Chick Vibafell. All right, we got Savoy Truffle. My mom wouldn't let me do the calendar. Oh, son of a motherless goat. That means Love Button is a young child. Young child. Peso. Unboxer. There's a strong rumors of massive amounts of gold discovered in Congo in South Africa. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Finger sniffing. No, no, it's not sneak finger sniffing. Um... Ozzy Alchemist, have you heard Wall Street Silver buying billboards? Yes, I did hear about that. Yes, seen any? I've not seen any, any there, but uh, I have a feeling that they're going to be posting something soon. I think it's a great idea. MVL, 95.91. Hey, hear what you're saying. Maybe the $12 price is a little low. Adjusted for the increase in paper dollars printed by the Federal Reserve, the bottom price is $12. Or $18. Just too much fiat flowing around. All right. Yes. Uh, I would tend to agree, but I, if you watch the video, you'll find out why I picked $12. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, in March, when it went down, it went down under $12. It was 11 something uh, Yes, indeed. Silversmith, I can prove, I can get proof of the sex without nudity or being arrested. That's right. Exactly, I can. But... Love button will not email me to inquire about such a thing because, uh, yeah. So, therefore, with that being said, I think it's pretty safe to assume that love button is a dude. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> okay, where are we at? Let's move on up here. Silver Surfer, she climbed in through the bathroom window, protected by a silver spoon. Now she sucks her thumb and wanders by the banks of her home lagoon. Don't anybody tell her, don't anybody see. Sunday's on the phone to Monday, Tuesday's on the phone to Sal. Oh, yeah, very good. I wonder what song that is, Silver Surfer. Colorado Cal, did you, Colorado Sal, Colorado Kid. Hey, Sal, did you see that the new 2021 Five Ounce Infinity High Relief? Yes, I did see that. Pretty interesting coin, a uh, round, pretty cool, limited to 2,000. I haven't done a video on it, but I know that um, uh, Finkel is Einhorn, and Einhorn is Finkel. But uh, other than that, I think some other channels have done videos on those. Cookie Dough and Sullivan Metal, indeed, Admax has some 1,000-ounce bar with a 349 premium. Wow, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, okay. All right, Rosebuds is a... Uh, I don't know. Is that a face palm? I don't know what that is. It looks like a face palm. But anyways, all right, I digress. All right. I have a question. This is not a rhetorical question. This is a real question for everybody in the chat. Everybody pay attention. I want to know, even if, you don't nor even if you don't normally type in the chat, I want you to type in the chat. If you've never typed in the chat before, this is the time to do it. All right, because I have this question that's coming for you. I'm going gonna, gonna to ask it right now. Here we go. Who is your daddy? I want you to know. I want to ask you, who is your daddy? Who's your daddy? Or, um, if you're in Star Wars, it's who is your father? Who is your father? I really want to know. That's not a rhetorical question. Who is your daddy? That's the question today. Over here, if you're not a financial advisor, but you did you save money today in your car insurance from Geico? Yes, indeed. And I also stayed at the Holiday Inn Express last night. Indeed. All right. Never heard of the Beatles. How about the Grasshoppers? How about the Grasshoppers? All right. Hello, Julie Newhouse. Good to see you, Julie. Mer Barb and Tara are visiting with Cuomo in New York for booty call. I think that's right. I think that's what's happened, Fabian. Uh, that's probably an accurate statement. You know what I'm saying? Hey, um, 22 is where uh, Cuomo draws the line, by the way. 
I go, B.R. Williams, Silver Daddy. Uh, men today, UAG, I am your daddy. Biden is Brad T. Soft's daddy. I never type in the chat, and Leroy is my daddy. There you go, Leroy. Your mama, your mama is my daddy. Rainbow music. Vader. All right, there we go. Don. Hey, Sal. Uh, 110,000 plus 2,000 ounces to Wall Street Silver for billboards. Wow. It'll be very interesting to see. I'd love to see pictures of that stuff when it's done. Uh, that's awesome that they're doing that. I think it's great. Silver is your daddy, says Silver Drill Pickle. All right, very good. So the Wall Street Silver gang, they're, you know, this that is unprecedented. Where they're actually putting money together to advertise on these billboards. That will do something. I think that's going to... Uh, I think that's going to... Now, if they could do radio advertising, can you imagine that? Um, uh, or, or if, I mean, obviously there's t TV ads and stuff like that too. Um, but find a creative way to advertise. I have some ideas to advertise. I might do a video on it. Uh, but it's more peer-to-peer. -peer. All, right, all right, there we go. You can't have a daddy if you come from a test tube. That's right. My papa is my daddy. We'll see him again in heaven. That's right. Amen. Silver Sterling, Sterling Cannabis. That's right. Nicholas, Green Outdoors, I was at 11 not too long ago, but then you run into that no supply thing. That's right. It was just over, it was over 11, though. I think it was 11.70 or something like that. Never been, met my dad. Apparently, my mom met him once. That's right, Sniff. That's right. All right, Sal is Big Daddy. That's right. You think those Wall Street bet rounds are a good investment or silly novelty? I think it's a commemorative thing, you know. Kind of like the um, the uh, COVID stuff, the COVID rounds that were released last year, you know. Um, so it's a memory of the thing that happened, you know. It is kind of a novelty thing, but anyways. Bullion Bandit. Sorry, Sal and everyone. There's no way it will drop that low until I buy a bunch of current price, because that's the way it always happens. I know what you mean. Yep, it's called Salivate's Law. There's a name for that. Salivate's Law. Silver porn for sure. Big, big bar. Zingots we're talking. That's right. Pierced nipples. Silver pierced nipples with a stethoscope. Silver Struck says, I understand the cash is king. The PMs are for converting their cash into an asset that will protect you from inflation, as we all know. However, last spring, when everything plummeted, including PMs, and it confused a lot of people, in my opinion, it's best to keep cash on hand, but also position in silver and gold. So you have all the options. Exactly right. Yep. It's basically what I said in the video, but you're exactly right. All right. Very much so. Bullion Bandit. Whatever happened to the guys that used to do videos that displayed their heavy metals on the table with stacks of precious metals? Pew, pew. I don't seem to find those anymore. Well, pew, pew. If you're talking about Stacking Stormtrooper, he still does. He did a video just today. Check him out. Terry is here. Now I have to talk, talk, stop talking crap about her. All right. Uh... Silver billboards want YouTube channels to post as many silver-related memes and social media platforms to support billboards. Ah, okay. Very good. All right, is Terry here? Because I do have a question for Terry. Um, is she here? Let me know. Let me know if Terry's here. Value is everything. If it drops this low, you have to act quickly or they will jack up the premium to the moon. On the March low, I picked up one ounce platinum maple leaf for seven twenty. dollars Yes. You know, I bought um, some platinum around that time, too. Um, uh, uh, Eagle for close to that price. Exactly. There's Terry. All right, Terry, you, were, you weren't here when I asked the big question, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and ask you this question individually. Everybody else has already answered me. I just need an answer from you, Terry. And the question is this. Are you ready for it? Make sure you're listening. Here it is, Terry. The question is, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy, Terry? I want to know that. Plumber Stacker is here, the one and the only. What's up, everybody? Plumber Stacker, good to see you. He's in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sal Silver Shield did a uh, Wall Street Silver round that going. Yes, I did see that. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, kind of a neat thing. I saw the design for it and the um, and the and the and the Wall Street mascot on top of the eagle with the middle fingers up even the eagle is is doing the middle finger that's kind of a fun little design i guess you know robert monia says here in turkey i can buy one kilo bars at almost spot price wow that's awesome man i'd 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 uh, get up on that that's right well done robert that's great that's great 
There you go. Jesus is my daddy. Very good. All right. Nice. Nice. Terry. My daddy was a pistol. I'm a son of a gun. There you go. I like that magic. That's great. Is he rich like me? Says High Tones Drifter. Kent and B.R. Williams is here. Good to see all you guys. Jacob, Jake, John Jacobs is not on his period. Terry is right below. Or is that a comma? I don't, can't tell. I don't think that's a comma. I think that's a comma. Gold Chick says, in the early days of the filament, you brought your own silver to the mint, and they would press it into coins free. Interest uh, was illegal for Christians to charge because Jesus had returned the banksters' tables at the synagogues and in the Rothschilds who lived in a German slum. Daddy went to the king, and the Jews can charge interest soon. Three sons were running banks in major countries, and Daddy was knighted in England. I heard of back in, not a conspiracy theory. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Rothschilds have some deep uh, history. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, Dominic uh, Pelosi. Just buy now, or if not, we will take take it off the market, waiting for cheap price. Buy now. All right. Very good. YouTube customer, uh, our lizard brain. You have a way with words, Sal. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate that. We're having a little bit of fun here. $12 silver, back up the truck, says KC Tenor. All right. Yes, back up the truck. Unless you have a station wagon or a Honda. Avalanche says, once it dips below $20, I start buying. If it goes back down below $15, I back up the truck. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. In for zoo, it costs more than that to process ore into 1,000-ounce bars. I'll load a truck if any physical silver is actually available. Actually, they say the average cost of silver as a byproduct of other metals is uh, about the 5 to $8 an ounce. 4 to $8. Uh, depends. Depends on the mine. Depends on the other metal. Gun metal, 70, uh, gun metal blue, regardless of spot, I believe metals are also subject to price and demand. If the demand is high... Spot is low. That is what affects the high premiums. Hopefully the masses always trust and have faith in the dollar. The price of metal stays down and keeps going down because I'm not done stacking. I hear you, brother. I do hear you. And we're going to call this scammer here. This is a scammer that I had on this phone here. It's easy to make this call. So thank you, Gunmetal Blue. Your call is very important to us. Okay. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hmm. Check. It's got a delay in it. Mike Rabone says, A dip spike price in the pattern of the most liquid assets categories should be expected at the beginning of the crisis where people worry about money. If you can hold long term as a buying opportunity, your best Pointless noise at worst. Nothing to worry about. All right. Very good. Thank you for your comment. Appreciate that. A cache cat says, at 12 or close to it, I'll be doing ETFs, but still can be buying what I want. I'm buying what I can. I hope you're wrong about it, but time will tell. Thanks for your insights. No problem, cash cats. Appreciate that. Yes, we'll see how it plays out. I very well could be wrong. Uh, it's all based off of speculation. Love button. Mom said when I get my braces off, I could be on your calendar. <laughs> all right. Very, very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. All right. Thank you, love button. All right. Very good. Get the braces off. Please rate Christian metal band Demon Hunter. I rate them pretty darn high. I haven't heard much of this stuff recently, but I'm going to probably give them uh, an eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yes, indeed. Good band. I like their older stuff. All right. All right, they're not answering. Besides, Spall Walker's been trying to reach me about my car's extended warranty. Yes, indeed. If only. Hello, Medio Man. Good to see you. Ron Hammer. Don't worry. Even silver at $12 is better than all the paper dollar at zero. In Canada, the premium for a new one-ounce coin is 26% of spot price from a dealer. Wow. Yes, indeed. Okay. Happy Friday to Strongman Silver and Gold. Good to see you. Yeah, that elevator music is pretty typical, isn't it? It's crazy. Demon Hunter 8.5. Yes, indeed. 
Nathan S. says, the path to $10 silver premiums. There you go. Let's explore. That's right. Exactly. Buy the dip and don't get scammed by outrageous premiums, says Silver K9. Yep. If you can avoid those premiums, try to do it. Try to avoid those premiums. Ben G. says, $12 silver, $20 premium. There you go. Yes, indeed. That's right. And we've got Gabriel Rodriguez says, Pro tip, pre-order Cara Dune coin from NZM before it gets canceled. Ah, interesting. Cara Dune coin, New Zealand Mint. 18 to $20 for have fun, play guitar. There you go. All right. Yes. Joe Biden happened to silver, says have fun, play guitar. That's right. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Sergeant Gold is here. Like that. It's devilish. The devil inside. The devil. In Every single one of us, the devil inside. Whoa. John Frost, you know the paper market is completely manipulated. I don't know that, actually. Um, uh, there's some level of manipulation that goes on within organizations, but I, that's a caveat. It's a nuanced discussion. I'll put it that way. Thank you, Rebel County. He says you do a stellar, sterling work. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that very much. Appreciate all of you. Uh, D Dominic Pelosi says 40 by July. And I'm predicting by the end of the year, we'll see 30 to 35. Let's get into some of these scammers uh, calling. We've got to call first Joseph Alec from uh, Frog Leap Capital or something like that. Front Leap Capital. But we'll call it Frog Leap Capital. We'll try that here and see what happens. Come on. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Still missing Barb tonight. Thank you. Yes. Is this uh, Joseph Alec? Uh, you know, it stepped out. Who is uh, this? Who is this? What's your name? My name is Jacob. Jacob, are you with Front Leap, Frog Leap Capital? Exactly. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Was wanting to see if we could get uh, some business here. I've been uh, told to contact Joseph Alec about this loan for my business here. Uh, what can we do to make that happen? How can we work that out? Anything? Uh, you can send three months of your bank statement yeah. to my email. Okay. And and uh, fill out a application. Can do you have the bank statements ready? Uh, don't you want to know anything about my business, how it's related to the COMEX and the delivery date and what it's going to do? You know, it's like a nine month program. It's a gestation period for the COMEX. Do you want to know about it? See, uh, the loans that we specialize in, these are all unsecured and collateralized loan. I could only provide money if yeah. you have, you know, city revenue in the recent three months. Do you have that? Uh, yes, but, uh, but you're telling me about your business. You want to know about my business before, hold on just one second. Let me go get, I'm going to get something here momentarily. Just a second, sir. Hold on. Okay. What did you say your name was again, partner? Jacob. Jacob. Okay, Jacob. Here we go, Jacob. Happy birthday to Terry. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Terry. To Terry. Not, not, not Jacob, Terry. We're saying happy birthday to Terry, okay? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. We, we say happy birthday to Terry. Okay. Happy Let's harmonize. Birthday. You do. To yeah. Terry. Happy Terry. birthday, birthday to, to Terry. Terry. Oh, Terry, yeah. who is your daddy? Happy oh, Terry, birthday, birthday to Terry's to fart cushion. Oh, Terry, who is your daddy? That's right. Who is Terry's daddy? That's the question. Who is Terry's daddy? Happy birthday, Terry. Yeah. Happy birthday, Terry. Yeah. Hey, that's a nice chord. No, nice well, tuning. Those playing. were actually single notes. That, that wasn't a chord. But this, here's a chord. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, go ahead. That's D, right? Uh, no, that was E. That was E. E oh, major okay. to the E major to the seventh power. No, I'm not an expert in either. I, I did beginning class when I was in school. What I did you take in like class? Four, bigamy four class? You learned how to be a bigamist? Yeah, yeah. When I was, when I was in school, okay. I used to like do A. I mean, <laughs> D, E, F. F minor, and then it was just like four chord, and then we used to play very simple songs. Okay. That's all I did. <laughs> nice. 
Simple songs. You're good, huh? Good. That's a simple song. Yeah, that's a simple song, yeah. I need a silver squeeze and a billboard at the store. Hey, buddy, uh, oh, I yeah. gotta go. You know, it's a weekend. Uh, tell me, you know, fast, or we can talk in a uh, Monday, right? Okay, we'll Do talk on Monday. Guys? Okay. All right, we'll take care. Yeah, we'll let's talk, let's about... talk on Monday. Okay. All right, take All right. care. Take you a, have a nice easy. weekend. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm still kind of curious about this bigamy thing he's talking about. But anyways, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I didn't know it was a... So thank you. Uh, I had to I didn't rock on that one. Thank you, uh, Fabian, for that super chat. First super chat of the night. We've got uh, uh, Terry's birthday going on. Happy birthday to Terry. Uh, <laughs> okay. And we sang the... You know what? Hey, Silver Squeeze, you can go back to the uh, Wall Street Silver community and say that you heard the first Silver Squeeze song. On this channel here. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, if he has a ladder, that's right. He's got a ladder to success, Donald. Exactly right. A blue diamond gem says, has it been a correlation between spot price and actual physical set price for the last year or so? Well, it's gotten closer to it, but you're right. There is still a, a abnormal premiums for sure. Abnormal premiums between the two. 12 bucks I'm in, says Samurai Sorrow. All right, there you go. He's in. Gunga Din. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. And Gold Chick Vibafell says the more it goes down, the more physical can be sold for. That's what she said, Gold Chick. That's exactly right. He's a Mormon. That's right. It says, hey, Gold Chick is right here. And she posted it there. And she's there. She's here. She's everywhere. Lord Humongous Cash is a silver specie. I don't know that the green toilet paper you got. Is that a debt instrument, Federal Reserve note? I owe you. Yes, indeed. A debt instrument. Yes, indeed. It's better than being hit with a blunt instrument. That's right. Yep. All right. All right. It's Biden's birthday, but he forgot. Exactly. Samurai Sorrow. Oh, I paid as high as $45, so I understand I overpaid. But I like the coin, so it's all good. But now if it hits 12 bucks, I'm interested in investing my government aid package in silver. There you go. Yes, indeed. That's what I would do, too. I would definitely do that. Hey, thank you, Silver Squeeze. Appreciate it. All right, as we move on up here. Alan Hardrick says, If the price were to go to $12, there will be none. Nobody should buy ETFs. They should not be even be allowed to sell them right now the way they do. Well, I mean... Sadly, these futures, options, and all this stuff, it's, it's, it's crazy. You know there's issues when you do it that way, but hey, that's how they do it. Carol, Carol, if it goes to show that silver, what silver does in a panic. Cash was king, cash buys, silver doesn't. Don't put all your money in one asset, diversify. Silver premiums over 30%, spot price, that's worse than a savings account. Yeah, that's a good point there. All right. Fred F. Hey, do you think days of silver being below 20 are gone? I mean, the worth of 20 of today, of course. Um, I think so. I think um, even spot price goes down below uh, 20. Um, the actual real price of silver is, is, is not going to be there, I don't think. CCT, I just got a notification of a change in rate for my savings account down to 0.03%. No wonder I prefer precious metals. Exactly right. That's exactly right. Good to see Zygon, Zygi, Ziggy. Economy bounces back. Silver will tank to 2016 prices. All right. Yes, indeed. Silver heist. All right. Good to see Silver heist is here. Derry Kinnan says, Sal, please list any silver dealers who pays more than spot. I see some dealers who will give you $2 over spot for ASCs, but that's about it. Well, and they may have gone down now. In fact, the last time I checked, I think um, on uh, I th talked about this in a prior video where um, uh, generic rounds, profit of metals is paying pennies above spot. So not a whole lot above spot, but at least they were paying spot. Um, Alan Hartrick says, has value as long as it's reserve currency, which will not last on the way out. They are distributing 500 billion SDRs and will be distributing more 
soon enough. All right. Daniel Borbutter Lamb, twelve dollars silver, but that won't, but they won't sell it to you for under fifty bucks. Yes, indeed. Yep. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Premiums are going up. Okay. Stephen Birdcage says, I'm exhausted by stacking silver and never goes up to where it should be priced. Even if silver goes down to 12, you will not be able to buy it at the price. It's frustrating. I know. I hear you, brother. I know what you mean. I know the feeling. Okay. Daniel Boardrunner Lamb. They are shaking the paper hands off before the blast off. Yes. Sure are. Indeed. $12 plus 200% spot fixed, says Samurai. Yep. And Super Genius says never going to happen. Never say never. Um, and uh, I probably would not have posted this video if I didn't think it wasn't a possibility. Um, unless I explicitly say this will never happen or whatever. What I know won't happen is a one-to-one -one ratio with gold. That, that won't happen. I guarantee you that. Trust me, says that'd be epic. I definitely would eat some crow on that on that uh, thing there. All right. Ken Brome says, I'm begging for silver to drop that level again. I will sell my house and buy whatever I can get my hands on. When it comes to silver, most people know what time it is. When it comes to silver, they can hate silver and paper, uh, push it down a neck of levels like they do to oil last year. I will scoop it all up. Silver's time is coming. Most people are aware of it. This new so-called green age will consume silver in a new technology in Asia, China, and India in particular. The U.S. is now the USA and is going into the dustbin of life as a type this keeps stacking AG 47. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you. The high desert pioneer. Anything is possible, but relationships to the dollar are just a barrier to acquisition at this point. Yes. Very good. James Young says, I think silver is unlikely to fall back to $12 as U.S. debt is going to reach $30 trillion in November of this year as the $1.9 trillion package is passing this, uh, in Senate. And a lot of uh, people, especially those with the kids, are going to get $1,400 each. And unemployment benefit is going to be extended until the end of August with an extra $400 weekly. All the stimulus monies have come from printing, press, and the Fed. On the other hand, we should all expect our lives to be go back to normal by 2022 or sooner. That would be high time for inflation will start. Everything will be 10, 20% more expensive each year. Bottom line, money is trash, as we all know. All right. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. And Ken Brom says, gold and silver are the only forms of money. All others are Ponzi fiat currencies or credit. The same group of people have been tossed out of 100 current countries since the year 250 for the same reason. Usury. That's what the Fed is. All right. Thank you, Ken. Heidi Gieb, a one. Gotta save our pennies so we can buy the drop. Appreciate your perspective. Thank you, Heidi. Appreciate that. All right. Well, we, uh, uh, we've got another caller. We've got another loan scammer to call here. Let's call this one. And we also have Tony. Tony was a little rude. We'll try him next. We've got this loan scammer. <sighs> Told him I'd be calling tonight. See if they answer. See if it's a real number. You know what I mean? Heather Sutton. $12 silver means no supply. Demand would be crazy. Physical would go to 40 Stay away from crypto. The person you are calling is currently unavailable. Please leave a message. I'll call back later. Uh, here it's going down like the Titanic because all currency around the world will go kaput. The gold standard can take a hold. Okay, thanks for your perspective on that. You see here. Ken also says, get ready for the SDRs. After the currency and all other currencies fail, currency, bank, and financial failures are in progress now. Yes, indeed. That is one tool, creation of debt, and scam will end badly. That's right. That's what I'm saying. They only, only do have just the one tool, creation of more debt, more debt, more, more debt. Chevy 4x4, I think we will see $10 silver and $1,200 gold. I'm not buying till we get there. The crypto space is killing metals. Um, yeah, I think there is some amount of that taken away from the metals, but... 
You know, I don't know, but anyways. Paul Angeli, I will keep buying. Very good, very good. Robert McNerney, fill your garage with buckets full of 25-year shelf life MREs. Food will become the new gold. What you don't eat, you will be able to sell for 10 times what you bought it for. Don't sell a soul what you have. Don't tell a soul what you have. Well, I do think food is definitely good to have in preparation. I do certainly agree with that, and I need to get some of that stuff too. It's probably wise uh, for sure, but we'll see. The AED38 says, if silver goes to $12, I will be buying it on credit. I don't know. Depends what the premiums are. Um, I don't know that I would necessarily do that, but anyways, all right. We're going to get ready to call Tony. Let's call Tony while we're here, just for gits and shiggles. Let's see what happens if he answers. Yo, Tony, what's going on, Tony? You, you, you here with me? We got the Tony on the phone. You know what I'm saying, Tony? Come on, Tony. Help me out over here. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if he answers. Netherite. Yeah, a lot of people are posted that on here. It's crazy. This video must have become bacterial on the uh, Minesweepers channel or whatever that Minecraft. Hello? 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 Well, I heard somebody there. Come on. Dang it, why won't they answer? Stay ahead of the game. Buy more when going down and down. Multiply, be quantified. Cotton papers. It's a good idea. Dollar cost averaging. That's what it's about. Ooh. Calvados. There you go, Fabian. The person you are calling is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the tone. Why isn't he answering? I don't know why he's answering. We'll call him back here momentarily. That's rude of him to hang up on me. Tony, that's where it's at. Yo, come on, Tony. Let's slurp some coffee. And let's get back here. Let's get back here. Okay. I hope it gets there. It says Tactical Strudel. All right, Tactical Strudel. Very good. Very, very, very good. All right. Oh, man. I don't know Freebird. Let me see if I know a little bit of Freebird. Freebird! Um, let me see here. Um, um, Social distortion, either. I'm sorry. 
played Tom Sawyer. Oh man. Um. Oh, the analysts at Sprott were right about gold tanking. Okay. So they had predicted this. That's interesting. Okay, very good. Well, they were right. John McDonald says, Has anyone here bothered to ring the bullion dealers? Here in Australia, you can buy 300, 400, 500 KS of stuff, one kilogram bars. No problem. There's plenty of this stuff. There you go. What do you think about that, Aussie Alchemist? Silver, rarely available. Can you get Perth Mint bars? Dust in a baggie. I know dust in the bottle. I know, uh, so, but I don't know any Billy Strings. Here's dust in the bottle. Let me see here. Oh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Wish I knew that. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. P. <laughs> Went to church incognito. Can't scratch my eye. Something like that, anyway. No any bad religion. No, I don't know any bad religion. Sorry. All right, very good. Let's see here. All right. Uh, Coins at Disease says... Um, years ago, I used to care about the daily spot price move with silver. Today, I don't. What I do care about is that Salivate Metal and Pudenda Johnson love platinum. That we do. And so does Coins A to Z. We love platinum. Platinum rocks. It is awesome. Plenty of stock. If you don't want to, if you want to get ripped off, I don't buy it from the Perth Man. Okay, very good. Sage advice. Sing it loud, sing it proud, says Ken. All right, there you go. You cracked my screen. Oh, man, we don't want to crack the screen. Man, shoot, son of a mother, let's go war pigs. Oh, man. Like black witches in Pat I don't know what the, how that song goes. Misty Mountaintop, I don't know that. Man, don't quit your night job. All right. Time in a bottle. Diversify, diversify. That's what I'm talking about since coins A to Z. There you go, brother. Yes, and he platinum to the moon. There he's got it. You know it. All right. Rhodium, I think I got your number. Rhodium, there you go, Ed Mole. That's right, Rhodium. It's up there, although it took a dip today. Plat the problem with $12 silver is a problem in March 2020. As many, um, it may as well be zero. You still couldn't buy it because it was unavailable. Even a year later, silver is delayed and the premiums are high. The stuff of the coin store is raw bullion and super collector high price artsy pieces. The time, however, to buy is always yesterday, and don't get hung up a price. It's weight you need to target. Yes, indeed. But keep, you know, I would say that's true to a point. Um, I think you do should consider price to some degree. Um, because you don't want to get burned if you need to sell. If you need to sell it and it's low, and you bought it for a higher price, if you don't um, use the tactic of uh, dollar cost averaging, you potentially could get burned. There's Barbara. She made it. Oops. I just flipped a coin and it fell down. Barbara is here. Good to see a man on the Silver Mountain. That's right. Hmm. I need to add some Irish Jameson in that coffee mug. Yes, indeed. I need to get a little. That don't really get me going. One of Fabian. Man. Terrell is here in the house. Good to see Terrell. Hope you're doing well. How long is a cinnamon? Oh, man. Good question, Paul. But good to see Terrell. Terrell had a great live stream the other night. Um, fun stuff. She is such a good, talented singer. She does her live streams, and she has actual talent when she sings. It's amazing. Symphony of Destruction, that's right. Played that the other night on a on the live stream. It was fun. Um, but, uh, yes, Ziggy, uh, a nice one-ounce proof coin. They're awesome. Check out my channel, um, a video. If you search my videos... Ziggy, you can search for uh, under Platinum Proof. I unboxed, I think, one. Uh, the 2005 Eagle, one of my favorite proof platinum coins. Love it, love it, love it. But uh, yeah, and Terrell just did a video too. 
of some fun down in Vegas for her sister's birthday. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. They had a blast. Andrew McComer says, Sal, my logical brain got sucked out by the lizard people in 2020. <laughs> there you go. Federal Reserve Toolbox. Quantitative easing equals manipulation. That's true. Now, the quantitative easing is a form of manipulation. Uh, indeed, it sure is. Corey Hilbo says, $12 spot would still mean 32 a physical price all depends on wholesale premiums to dealers. That is true. It sure does. All right, very good. Okay, it's all right. Now we've got a, it's Barbara's birthday. Here we go, Barbara. Here we go. Let's get some birthday song for Barbara. All right. Happy birthday to Barbara. It's Barbara's birthday and she's only 29. Barbara's gonna live another 90 years. And she will never cry any more tears. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Barbara, yeah! Happy birthday, happy birthday, Barbara! We just broke coins A to Z's ears. Happy birthday to Barbara! And I hope we can heal coins A to Z's ears. That one took me a while to uh, write. Uh, that one I've been working on for weeks and months as well as to that one. So that one took a little bit of composing and, and strategically laying out every chord and every, every little nuance to the song. You know, it takes a while to write these. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Uh, Rev Biker Big D says... Fed setting us up for the crypto, no more cash. Fiat money will be here during the crossover gold. If you don't hold it, then you own nothing. All right. Now, well, what about this guitar? I own the guitar, right? All right. Very good. And numismatic stacker. If it goes to $12 again this year, then go to $39. i am selling out. I'm done with this. I see $18.50 is a low. More money will be going back into the market after... About 50 million people are laid off for seasonal work, go back to work. Money will be humped back into the markets. Then we'll start seeing a rise in prices. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. This could uh, certainly work out uh, in several different uh, ways uh, for sure. We'll see here. All right, very good. Oh, man, Barbara Carbone. We've just given Barbara Carbone a headache. All right, maybe we can slurp our way out of this. Let's see here. It really was uh, Barbara's birthday. You know what? Uh, we sang happy birthday to Terry, too. Now, Barbara, since you just came in, all right, I have been I asked everybody else this, but I'm going to ask you, too. For all the new people here, let me go ahead and ask this question. Uh, I need to know, who is your daddy? Okay, that's the question of the day for this live stream. Who is your daddy? All right. Very good. All right. None. Sal squandered this opportunity. He had 2,500 watching when Silver Squeeze now 100. Should have uh, showed his face and ditched the comment reading and would have been better off. Well, you know, hey, um, uh, I like to change things up a little bit here. But, um, you know, uh, part of, I think, what makes this unique is the comment reading. No other channel does it. It's a way to interact and engage and engage with you guys in the chat and also the comments. It personalizes it. Um you know, but and I play a little get fiddle a little once in a while. I mean, it's not the best, but hey, you know, I'm gonna put it away now. All right. Bill M says there's a lot of precious metal silver channels in YouTube. This guy's voice on the intro has me sold. Well, Bill, I am honored and humbled. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. You're the man. All right. Bob Merchant doesn't like... Okay, here we go. All right. Hey, I got one even better for you. Bob Bo, here we go. He doesn't like the music. Talk about silver. Let's sing about silver. Oh, yeah. 
We love silver when it's low. We love silver, don't you know? Its atomic number is 47. And it's gonna take us straight to heaven. Parlez-vous Francais and all that jazz. And all that stuff about silver, well, we'll keep it in spaz. Oh, yeah. We'll just keep that guy here to keep a watching. We're talking about silver now. And I hit the wrong chord, and we're gonna hit it and resolve it on the G. Is that guy still here? Where'd that dude go? Is he still here? Did that help him out? What happened to that guy? Say something, say something, would you? Say something, I need you to know. I need to know if he's here. Where's that dude? What is that guy's name? What is that guy's name? Um, where did he go? Bo Merchant. Where's Bo Merchant? Bo Merchant. Where's Bo Merchant? I think he split. I think he went. He was. He left. All right. Okay. Where? Are we? Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Twenty-seven thousand eight hundred and went down two hundred bucks. That's right, Donald. I might as well hold on to it now, right? It's falling, crashing, crashing, crashing. Silver Scientist, here we go. Link to Silver Scientist channel. Check out Silver Scientist. Indeed. And he bought a cool silver slide. I'm going to check that video out probably tomorrow. I'm going to have to give you guys the boot here momentarily. As he Welk says, the price of paper silver on the stock market compared to silver is starting to be like the price of cardboard compared to the baseball cards. The separation is huge. The price of a finely minted silver coin is different than the price of bulk paper silver. Yes, indeed. That's right. All right, very, very good. And we've got Donald in Mexico says, Blame Powell and the Fed. Maybe poor supervillain Biden should replace him. All right, blame Powell and the Fed. Maybe uh, supervillain Biden. Well, Biden can't even remember what he had for breakfast. He certainly won't take any questions. Well, he offered some questions, but they wouldn't let him uh, make a fool of himself uh, answering those questions. There you go. All right, let's see here. And where are we at? Michael Taylor says, a Dear William Bank, I'll gladly buy our $12 silver. Please allow me to back up my truck up to your vault to assist with loading. There you go. All right. Frank says, the way things are going, it looks like we are strongly moving into a central bank digital currency. If this were to happen, it would mean fiat currency would be worthless. And that would also include... Coin, silver clad, all of them. You know, if we do move into a central bank digital currency, the dollars wouldn't necessarily be worth us right away, but you could exchange them uh, in due course and due time. And it would be easier now than ever before because um, most people are on the digital system. All your uh, dollars that are in the bank would be the, would convert automatically over. Uh, they would find a way to make that happen. Um, we'll see how that would turn out, but it would be very interesting to see. My guess is it would still be called the dollar, so it's not going to be that much of a change. ESP player. I just played my ESP. Uh, remember uh, when you silver guys are scrambling to buy $35 eagles and I said not to FOMO? Yeah, you're welcome. There you go. Yes, indeed. All right. Jason Capowave. If it dropped to $4... I would load up, but I don't think anyone would be foolish enough to sell silver for $4 an ounce. That would happen. I'd imagine to quickly climb over to an all-time high. That's right. Well, just like if it goes skyrockets way high, it's going to come right back down. The same thing would happen the other way around, too. Come up, shut down silver and gold, replace 8 to 1 or 16 to 1 ratio. 
I'm a serial optimist. Well, I think you're more likely to see 20 to 1. In fact, I did a video about that, but it involved a quite a big jump. Um, indeed, all right. Quite a big, I mean, uh, sustained buying power. Jason, I think most people are starting to lose faith in cash already, at least people I know. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, take care, Ozzy Alchemist. Farmer got rocked up. My access to a 1900 home site starts to time to start digging. All right, take a squeezy. See you in the money pit. Thank you, Ozzy. Appreciate you being here. Mm. Thank you, Bob Cap Bren. Have a good weekend, my friend. I appreciate that so much. Very much appreciate you, sir. All right. All right. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Beijing, Biden ain't all that bad. Okay, I lied. That's right. Exactly. All right. And uh, 808080. I got a second job for the sole purpose of stacking. All right. There you go, brother. Nice. By the time you add your premium, your $12 silver is still over my $20 delivered limit. Okay. All right. Salivate Fiat, says Donna, says low blood pressure. That's right. There you go. Thank you, Donald, and thank you, low blood pressure. And Patrick T. says, in March 2020, when silver crashed to around $11 on paper, that is, no one was selling it anywhere near that price. Exactly right. That's what I talked about in this video. It's exactly what I talked about here. All right. Off the deck says twelve dollars. Beep beep beep. Hear that noise? That's me backing up the armored truck. Very good. All right, uh, Terrell, just stopping by. Stopping. Uh, I'm stopping in. We're leaving for town for Utah. All right. Be safe, Terrell. Have fun in Utah. Wow, that'd be a great trip. Be safe out there. Thank you, Terrell. Have a good night. Take care of yourself. You are awesome. All right. That's right. Gold chick has it pegged. Exactly right. Biden is my pimp daddy. That's right. No one asked me who my daddy was. It's Biden. He's my pimp daddy. I give him 10% of everything I, I take in from the uh, Ukrainians. That's right. Just call me Hunter. Just call me Hunter. Uh, Fitra, 1987. Silver spot price goes to $12. I'm back up the truck. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay. Ah, very good. Hitting for contracts. I've said it since last May, and of course the silver community laughs. There are gaps in the futures chart at 12 and 17. Sooner or later, gaps almost always get filled. Ah, okay, very good. All right. Hasta la vista, MS Row. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you so much. Part-time prepper says, boy, I remember at the LCS for a few days, Last year, getting $1 face constitutional for $10.20. Housing up 10%, lumber up 30%. These examples are figured into the government inflation and crooked numbers. Yes, you're right. Very true. The way they, uh, the consumer price index is basically staples like uh, food, water, or food, um, milk, eggs, um, stuff like that. All right. Hey, uh, Coins A to Z says, you're awesome no matter how lowly Terry thinks of me. Well, thank you, my friend. Good to see Coin Talk. All right. Yes, indeed. Where's that other two-ounce coin? There it is. <clears throat> Gotta keep those coins together. Look at everything. Clean it all out. Says Ultra Braun, Ultra Baron. There you go. Clean it all out. Pots and Legos, everybody. See you guys. All right, take care, Silver Scientists. Appreciate you, brother. I cannot predict the price of silver, but I'm so glad I waited and I didn't jump into the panic tool with all those other people who paid extraordinary premiums when the price was spiking recently. I'll be danged if I'm going to pay the absurd prices per ounce over spot that these bullion dealers wanted. Silver and gold are long-term minor investments if we carry the inherent disadvantage of the premiums. Extreme volatility and no income return. The dollar collapses to the extent the doomsdays predict. Believe me, when silver and gold are not, save you. $10 quarter, that's right, exactly. Well, now I've talked about how silver can play a role in an SHTF scenario. Check out my playlist called Silver and SHTF. It explains it all there. Make money says, yes, it plunges, but try to buy gold at this low price. Dealers are sold out on gold. 
$180 on top of the spot price, meaning yes, manipulation. <clears throat> all right. Very good. All right. And uh, VK Travel Log. This will happen only if the stock market crashes. Since they sell precious metals for liquidity, especially there are margin calls. I really hope it goes to $12, can back up the truck, but I'm afraid there will be no physical available. Where do you live, Sal? Just kidding. Please don't tell anybody you have stuff stored in your home. Well, that's right. <clears throat> It's better to keep the stuff stored out of your location and other locations with family and friends outside of your home. That's the best way to do it. George Penna, it takes three cents to make a penny of copper, uh, which it takes money to make one ounce of silver. How much does it take? Well, it uh, depends. From a prim primary silver mine, it's between uh, $12 and $15 an ounce. For mine as a byproduct of other metals, it's between 4 and $9. On average, on average. All right, let's get into. Yes, I've got posters of Terry and Barb above my bed. That's right, Sergeant Gold has nailed it. That's exactly right. Hugh Raw says no massive price drop is coming. No massive drop. Well, you might be right. You might be right, but I'm telling you about the path to it if it were to happen. All right. We have got uh, <clears throat> almost 100 thumbs up now. We've got 99 thumbs up. Let's see if we get one or seven or 14 more. That would be cool. Sal, uh, there are the haves and have-nots in this world. What a gorgeous coin. I already have started asking how I can get one and how much not available yet. You're definitely a have. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you, Billy Bob. They are will be available soon. Um, hopefully, at, uh, most of the dealers out there, for sure, we'll see how it plays out. Jeragus Delariagus says, $12 silver not actually exist, did not actually exist last year. As you correctly stated, no one is buying or selling anywhere near that price. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yep. If you have to choose for a date, who do you pick between uh, Pelosi, Biden, or Maxine Waters? Pelosi. That's an easy choice for me. Pelosi. Um, she kind of has nice boobies, I must confess. That's being intellectually honest, okay? <clears throat> I'm going with Pelosi. Silver Speed, good to see you, sir. Dove season is here. Good to see you. Good night, Gold Chick Vibe Fell. Good to see you. Have a good evening. Yes, indeed. Have a wonderful evening. Ty Collins says, if things go like they're saying, I will have $1,400 to buy up as much of that $12 silver as I can. There you go. Yes, indeed. Uh, Chief Field says, the quote comes to mind, the only sure thing is that in business there are no sure things. Markets either go up or down, similar to the red uh, or the black in a casino. Yep, it really is kind of a gamble. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. Good luck with that one. Yeah, I don't think I... Uh... Mm-hmm. At the puke. All right, well, hey, it was a choice. It was a multiple choice, Colorado kid. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there was those were the only choices that were offered to me. That was the only <laughs> choices that were offered to me. There was no other choices that Fabian gave to me. That was no other ones. It was just that was it. So I had to choose. I had to choose. I couldn't couldn't ignore his question, right? All right. <laughs> Sal wants Nancy to call him daddy. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mark's Google says. Six dollars or of the twelve dollars is just the premium cost. Yes. All right. Mark Graham, if they let hit, uh, the spot hit thirty, I'm selling most of mine for thirty-five. I'll keep the gold. There you go. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Twelve dollar spot, fifty dollar premium. Says Lance. I could see that happening. I could see that happening. All right, guys. I think we have run to the end of our time here in this uh, endeavor that we call this live stream i want to extend a multitude of gratitude to all of you guys and gals out there and i'm gonna leave you with the sage piece of advice and that is to keep